Georgia, Georgia. I can update. <laughs> First things first, I want to give a big thanks to Dr. Crider and his team of technicians. Um, without Mr. Crider, I don't think I would have my Katie girl right now. Um, two Fridays ago, she was acting a little sick, and I thought something was wrong. I just had a bad feeling about it. So I took her to the vet, to Mr. Crider, and he said, listen, man, I, this is not good. Uh, pretty much her liver was shutting down. He put her on IVs, give her a catheter, ton of antibiotics all kind of stuff like that and somehow pulled her back through we don't know exactly what was wrong but we think she had leptospirosis it was it was not a good time well I thought that she was a goner uh, you know I'm, I'm tore up about it I can't hardly hunt you know my baby's at the vet and in about a week of her staying overnight, getting an IV bag every day and, and that kind of thing, she pulled back through. She lost a whole lot of weight. She probably doesn't weigh 30, maybe 40 pounds right now. So I got a lot of weight to put back on her. But she's doing great. She is full of energy. She's a happy little pup. She's got to go on a few hunts since then. She got her retrieval numbers back up. So everything's going good with Katie now. So thank you very, very much, Dr. Kreider. I'm sure you won't ever see this, but you don't know how much it means to me. Thank you very much. Anyways, the next update is, I can honestly say that I never thought I would see a man assaulted by a fish until Saturday morning. We get up, we're going hunting. I'm with River Rats Guiding Service with Justin Lawrence. We're rolling down the river, Done about 50, maybe a little faster. I mean, we're really scooting. And he was just talking to me about how he saw some silver carp in that particular body of water. So we run down the river, and the fish comes in the boat. I don't see it, nobody does. There's a guy to my right. So I'm sitting right here. Here's the driver. Here's another guy, and then there's a man, a guy up front. It's that guy in the chest, and he's, oh, you know, oh. he's reaching like, hell. All right. Well, I mean, nobody's laughing. It's not, it's one of those things that's not funny, but dang, it is funny. I hit him in the chest, glanced off him, hit me in the head, just kind of side of the face, and somehow when it hit right here, it just shot it like a rocket and squared Justin right in the nose. Uh, Justin's down. Gets a boat stop. We, you know, we regroup. I'm like, man, what in the heck just happened? <laughs> So I look down, there's a fish flop in the boat. Oh man, I better get my camera real quick. So I turn on the camera, and Justin, I turned the light on him. I didn't know how bad it was. I looked at him, and his face is just pouring blood. I mean, his nose and his lips are just crushed. <laughs> but he toughed it out. We had a fun hunt, killed a few birds, and that was a lot of fun. Uh, Sunday, I went on a solo hunt. Just thought I'd wrap up the season, make a little intimate, get back to the basics a little bit, you know. So I was trying to coordinate with a bunch of people and hide everybody it's just me my boat and the decoys i didn't get to bring katie she's acting like she's a little sickly i'm just kind of nervous to get her back in that stagnant water because you know i think she had leptospirosis so i camped out i got out there at about 10 o'clock that night um, i strung up a hammock in a boat and apparently a hammock sleeps way way too good when you've done nothing but work and hunt wide open for two weeks straight so I go sleep in the hammock. Well, I wake up to a rooster crowing. I hear, ah, 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 ah. I'm like, what the hell was that? So I look, open my eyes, and I see the sunrise. I'm like, well, that's not good. Check my watch. All right, I got like five minutes shooting time. I hop up, throw on my waders, and I've already got my decoy spread out, but I didn't put out the, you know, the spinners, the lucky ducks and mojos and that kind of stuff because they don't want batteries to die. So I go and run them out there turn them on get set back down eat a pop tart and the whole time i'm chewing on this pop tart i'm debating whether i want to get my cameras out or not because you know at this point i just want to hunt i want it to stay simple the last second i decide to get my cameras on so guns loaded everything's ready pop tart's gone we ready i'm getting my head camera on and i'm trying to turn on the camera that i'm talking into right now and i hear Phew! big grip of teal it's like crap so i get them down and uh, it happened so fast that unless I watched the video, I really 
it's hard to remember because it's happened so dang quick. Pretty much in about two or three minutes, I had my six birds. The first pass, I shot two shots out of my double barrel and killed five birds. Well, at the time, five birds is a lot. I mean, not really, but it, you know, it's quite a bit to kill in two shots. So I'm trying to reload my gun. I'm also watching the other birds that I'm trying to work back around. And I'm trying to count the birds I got on the water because I don't want to shoot over. You know, we can't shoot over limits. So I finally get a count, it's five. I get shells back in the gun and I don't see it. The birds are gone, so I'm like, well, maybe I'll get another group, maybe not. At this point, that's fine. I've had a very successful hunt, you know, perfect by myself beautiful morning <laughs> great night's sleep and uh kill my five so i'm talking to the camera saying you know giving a recap of what happened all that kind of stuff and i hear a till <laughs> i think that's a till turn around i see a till buzzing around get my shotgun stand up i shoot that joker well that's number six <laughs> just an awesome awesome hunt both of those videos are posted on the channel by the way so y'all check them out go ahead and like them and subscribe be a big time be a big fun show all your friends you know um, I just I just left the screen printing company gonna have some t-shirts some hats and that kind of stuff made for bird dog productions I, it's gonna end up be pretty cool I'm not really trying to sell them to make any profit or anything it's just something cool for my buddies to be wearing and you know stuff to put in the videos and that kind of thing um, it'd be cool here in a little bit actually right now I'm going to pick up an enclosed trailer from my father for a big trip we have coming up in a couple weeks I can't say where we're going or what we're doing but I think it goes without saying we're going to be trying to kill ducks and geese and any other kind of thing with a feather that we can get away with killing <laughs> so y'all stay tuned for that it's gonna be a whole lot of fun man I can't wait we're so excited the only clue I'm gonna give you is gonna be very cold <laughs> Pretty much, that's about it for the weekly update. The only thing I got left is Mr. Mad Dog Madison Green bought him a new mud rig. So we're gonna go check that out in a minute and I'll show you all the boat and this, that, and other. I'm excited for him, that's gonna be great. You know, just another tool to our arsenal of, of bird killing power. You know, that's one more guy that can scout, one more guy that can carry another person in the boat. You know, everybody can rotate their equipment out. It's gonna be awesome. So I'll show you all that boat here in a minute. Other than that, hey, everybody that is, you know, been liking the videos and has subscribed to the channel, y'all are awesome. It's great. All it does is give me more incentive to, to keep trying to improve my editing and my videoing and all that stuff. And, you know, I really appreciate it. And, and all the guys that hunt me on a regular basis, they appreciate it too. So, y'all hang out and I'm going to pick up this enclosed trailer. We're at the lake right now. Campgrounds get the trailer. So I'm gonna pick this trailer up and uh, when I get to Madison's house I'll show y'all the trailer and his boat. Alright, so here's a little yeah. enclosed that we're gonna use on our top secret trip. But the bigger news is look at the new mud rig. Crank it up for me, dog. The viewers won't see that content. Let me give her a second. We'll come back from intermission. <laughs> Look, for this weekly update, you really sure aren't getting on the ball with it. Not we got to keep them updated, dude. They'll think we well, don't do nothing but kill birds. Well, I think the battery's dead. We'll see. Content. That's a dead battery. <laughs> it runs, we swear. Trade props. I don't need to touch it. Look at this. <laughs> so Madison pretty much has got a brand new motor here. Look at the skeg. The skeg has still got the factory paint on it. It ain't been drove at all. Still got all the factory stickers. Looks like factory grease probably. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Sweet dog.
Mass is really making me regret spending all the money that I spent on my boat. <laughs> I just got a good deal. Yours was a good price too.